If we discuss innovation, I very much like the quote today that innovation is nothing if you just have a concept. But you need to be successful also in implementing that concept and generating good results at the end of the value chain. And uh, I would like to share with you that um, in order to be able to successfully implement such concepts, it is very important to understand what do our customers want. And uh, we are in constant discussions not just with CanMakers, who are our immediate customers, uh, but also with big brand owners and fillers, in order to fully understand what are the concepts that we have to work on today in order to be successfully producing packaging steel tomorrow. And um, all of us know that we have been celebrating 200 years of the food can this year. So you don't invent a new food can. We all know that. But everybody who has been speaking here before me has clearly indicated that we are all working on new and innovative shapes, on better effectiveness, on better efficiency, on better surface, on printability. So a lot of things are going on not to completely new invent, but to improve and further develop something. So megatrends, um, the big headline of the speech. There are quite a few megatrends that all amount up to one important challenge for innovation, and that's formable steel. Nestle, we have heard and seen that you can have successful innovation if you have new and innovative can shapes. And therefore, these new high formable steels are very important for the future of our lighthouse products. Obviously, the most important uh, uh, business pillar will always be the cylindrical three-piece can. Yes, that's the mass market. But if we want to convince the brand owners of today and tomorrow that the um, canned food is not army food, but is food to be used also for uh, product innovation and uh, entry into markets, then obviously we have to provide new and better concepts. But also, this high formability steel provides room for efficiency increase. And efficiency increase that we see is especially valid if you take a look at the uh, little can that has been distributed by Jakob and his team. Um, this is deep drawing. And deep drawing can be done if you have the right kind of formability steel with less tool wear, with less steps in tooling. So the investment barrier for new and innovative can shapes can be lowered. So that's very interesting also from an investment and cost perspective of the can maker. Some more megatrends which all amount up to one single challenge. Obviously, we need to work on the so-called easy opening. The, uh, when we sat together at lunch, a young lady sitting next to me used a fork to open the beverage can. I said, that's an aluminum top. That's not my kind of business. <laughs> but easy opening is a very big topic. Demographic change means people grow older. And uh, not just young ladies uh, afraid to break their nails. Uh, maybe happily looking for new and innovative concepts. Mobility on the food, on the go um, consumption is very important. We can provide deep drawn bowls that look like uh, yogurt cups. So suddenly the impression that people don't eat out of a can can be completely erased. Microwavability, all of this adds up to innovation necessities. If we stick with the easy opening, then obviously we are not discussing high formable steels, but we want to have formable, but also quite stiff steels. So high strength and formability. It's a compromise. And you can see that we are working on these compromises quite successfully. The concepts that we offer today already offer benefits in downgaging, which at the end of the day will provide for better efficiency for lower cost. But also the convenience aspect 
cannot be underrated. The easy opening is a general headline if you look at the consumer panels of today and uh, therefore we are all uh, challenged to find further improvements in this area. What other megatrends are there? Obviously climate change, sustainability, urbanization and once more mobility and convenience. We offer solutions that are addressing all these megatrends by downgaging. Yes, downgaging has been going on for 40 years, so what else is new? We are offering answers to problems and we have still great potential to go further in future, which other materials don't have. Innovation. We, are, we as Rasselstein are in constant discussions with our customers. And uh, innovation is not just a privilege for this, of the big multinational organizations, but we've seen some presentation today that uh, also the smaller, medium-sized um, entrepreneurs in regions of the world where you usually say, hey, that's a developing market. It's not a developing market. Some of the brightest ideas are generated in South America. Wasserstein is proud to be able to provide material for the uh, world record down-gauged um, crown cork. So this is a South American development. And as we all together in this community, and this is a family reunion in which we are participating today, as we work on further improvement of a very mature product scope, we will provide for a good and brilliant future. So obviously if we have very good down-gauging facility and opportunity, we have also a very strong storyline. We have a good sustainable storyline and we should more aggressively communicate such storyline. Obviously, if you take a look at steel, the ecological top performer is the food can. And that rings true not just for Europe. And yes, the downgaging is highly sensible when it comes to money, but also when it comes to carbon footprint. And uh, therefore, we need to very constantly and aggressively state this advantage that we offer. A strategy and a vision does not end tomorrow. And you can see that the steel producers of this world are linked in in a very big, very long-term project called ULCOS to further reduce the carbon footprint of steel making. And uh, this also is another example that you have to work today in order to be successful next week. So at the end of the day, it's not just about um, delivering a product. It's about creating a concept, having a strategic vision, and behaving in a responsible way, not just in relation to your customer, but also to society. This is why we actively work on sustainable sourcing. And this is something all of us need to do jointly together, again, work on sustainable sourcing, but at the same time also actively communicate on this. I think our whole industry should be very confident when comparing against and competing against other materials. Because the megatrends that you see in today's world are challenges for all the different materials. And I think that uh, our material, metal packaging, and especially steel for packaging, has great potential for all of us to be successful in future. But we need to be consequent, not just develop visions, but at the end of the day, we also need to implement and to earn the results. Thank you very much.